Right, so let's think about when this cube will lose contact with the platform. The cube will, as soon as it loses contact, or even what well, I suppose it will always want to be accelerating downwards at G. That's what keeps it on the table, I suppose. So if the platform was accelerating downwards with less than G, or if the platform were accelerating upwards, they would maintain contact. It's only if the platform were accelerating with, with a greater um, acceleration than G, that's when the platform would start to move away from the cube and lose contact. So essentially what we're saying is that the acceleration has to be greater than G. Now the acceleration is omega squared times the amplitude. That's the maximum acceleration. Um, and that's got to be greater than G. So then we can work out omega. That's going to be root G over the amplitude. I'm just going to work that out. So that's 9.81 divided by 0 0.002, taking the square root. And that gives me 70. 0 0.0 radians per second. So I can then find the frequency from that. The frequency is going to be 2 pi, sorry, omega over 2 pi. So I divide that by 2 pi and that gives me 11.1 .1 hertz. At what point in the oscillation will this happen? Well, at what point is there the greatest downward acceleration, that's going to be at the top because the acceleration is in the opposite direction to the displacement. So when there's a maximum upward displacement, there's a maximum downward acceleration.